guys. Can you hear me? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to speak louder. Um, I'm in my blind again. My uh, floating blind that I made. And uh, I'm out after a new species that I've never photographed before. And uh, yeah, I've been watching them the past two days just to kind of see what areas they're hanging out in. And uh, so I'm out here this morning hoping to photograph them. They seem really, really skittish. So I'm gonna have to be very careful, very quiet in here. But uh, I'm really hopeful. I hope you guys aren't sick of me coming out in this floating blind and getting stuff. If you are, too bad. I'm out here anyways, but <laughs> I just have so much fun in here. And it's such a great, great way to uh, photograph birds because, you know, most of the time they don't even know that I'm here and it's just fantastic. So uh, let's see if we can find this uh, new species that I'm talking about and uh, I'll let you know in a little bit what it is. All right, I got some of the birds that uh, I'm out here to photograph coming in right now. Um, I apologize, there's a, some, there's an airplane that's been flying around above me, really annoying. But uh, yeah, I apologize for the background noise. So I've actually got quite a few birds coming in right now. I've got a whole, uh, just a ton of avocets coming in. That's not the bird I'm out here to photograph. I was able to photograph uh, some of those guys like two months ago when I went out to get some uh, ibises that I had never photographed before. Um, beautiful birds though, they're not in their breeding plumage anymore. Um, so they're not as colorful, but they're still just gorgeous birds. And I've got a huge group coming in, I've never seen this many before. But just behind them, I've got some uh, black-necked stilts. Those are the birds I'm out here to photograph. Just beautiful birds. They've got, uh, they're black and white. They've got this beautiful black stripe down their neck. And then uh, they've got these like rosy pink legs, just so pretty. And they're just these long spindly legs, just beautiful birds. And I've never photographed them before. So I'm really hoping to get them. Uh, from what I've seen the last couple days watching them, they seem really, really wary and skittish. So I'm hoping, because I've got this group of avocets coming in, I'm hoping the, stil the stilts will just follow right along and uh, and come in. I, I can hear, I think that's one calling. Um, so I'm going to turn this off and hopefully they come in. That was so cool, those avocets just came right by me. Um, 
and I had an egret come in too and fish for a while. Amazing. It's so, so pretty. I love all the birds out here. It's like these stilts know that I'm out here to try to photograph them because they're really hanging back and uh, I haven't gotten any good opportunities yet. But all these other birds are literally just like all around me. Some of them are even too close, I can't focus on them. Uh, they're just, some of them were within just a couple feet of the blind and they just didn't even care. But these stilts, it's like they can sense that I want to photograph them. <laughs> and they're taunting me. But uh, <laughs> you know what? Mother Nature's been good to me this morning. I've got a feeling it's, it, it'll work out. And if not, I've been able to see some awesome, awesome birds and get some pretty fun pictures. So uh, I'm gonna be a little more patient and just wait for them. Um, this, this water is so shallow right now, I can't move. I'm literally just sitting in the mud with this blind around me. I just chose a spot this morning where I've been seeing the stilts and I, uh, I just anchored down and Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm stuck here. Oh, I got some coming in. Okay, they're really, they seem really wary. I'm gonna turn this off. All right, guys, sorry to cut you off like that before. Uh, that was awesome. So I had, uh, it was like three or four, well, there were five at one point, but one of them flew away. Um, but there were three or four stilts that I was able to get some, some pictures of and they came right in super close. It was, it was fantastic. I love photographing new species that I've never photographed before. It just, I don't know, it's so much fun to just observe, observe them and learn their habits and, and photograph them. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm heading in now. I've got to get home.
pretty quick. I'm running a little late actually, so um, got to get home for some stuff. And uh, it's it's just been fun out here. For those of you who haven't seen this floating blind before, let me kind of show you real quick what it is. All right, so it just floats on the water here and it's got a camo cover that I sewed and then I just draped my ghillie net over it. I've got this port in the front where the camera sticks out of. And the whole idea is I just stand in the middle. Um, I've, made, I've done some other videos with this before and I kind of show how it works and what it looks like on the inside. So I'll put some links to those videos in the description below. If you haven't seen this before, you can go watch those. And I uh, describe more in detail how, uh, how it works and how I generally use it. Great, great method to photograph birds though, if you don't mind um, being literally just inches off the water with your camera gear, which I've used it enough, I feel comfortable with it. But uh, yeah, there is a learning curve to it because there are times when water can splash up in. Anyways, um, yeah, watch those videos. Great method to photograph birds, as I hope you can see in this video this morning. It was fantastic, but guys, thank you so much for following along. I've gotta run, um, I'm, I gotta hustle home because I've got some stuff I'm, like I said, running a little late for, but I've had a fantastic time out here. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I appreciate the support. I know I say that like every week, but really, I thank you so much for watching. The constant comments, the honest feedback, the suggestions, recommendations, it helps me so much in making these videos. So I thank you so much. Have a great week, you guys, and we'll see you next time.